What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm really excited to be talking and sharing with you guys what my current hair care routine is. Definitely get a lot of questions about how I keep my hair nice and healthy and shiny and long, whatever. So I'm going to be breaking down what my routine is exactly and what products I use. Also some other tips and tricks and just kidding. Honestly, there's no huge secret to it. I think it just comes down to this is what my mama gave me. Thanks, mama. <laughs> I know everybody's hair is different from different textures and colors and lengths and frizziness and dryness and oiliness. I don't know. There's a lot of different factors. These are the products that work for me and although I like to keep things really simple and there's nothing too crazy or different about my hair care routine, I thought I would share with you guys just in case anyone's interested because you never know. Anyways, I'm really excited to be partnering with Awesome. That was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. Okay, my products just went flying everywhere. But anyways, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my favorite products and what I've been using recently. And so yeah, I hope this answers some of you guys' questions on how I keep my locks nice and healthy and shiny and just how I maintain this mane because I think I got a decent amount of hair. So yeah, shout out Aussie. Without further ado, let's get on into the video. So just to give you guys a little bit of background on you know, what my hair has been through in my 21 years of living. <laughs> oh my God, I almost forgot how old I am. My hair really hasn't been through anything, really. Never dyed it, never had it permed or you know, any sort of procedure that would typically damage your hair. This is all pretty much virgin hair. There's one exception to this. Um, a couple months ago, I actually got these really, really subtle highlights done. The way that my lady did it, her name is Megan and she works at Bishops in San Jose. If you guys are in the area, you guys should hit up their salon because all this past year I would go to Megan and she would cut my hair. It always turns out bomb. So shout out to you, girl. But anyways, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I got these really subtle highlights, but you obviously can't tell my hair literally looks jet black on camera. But when I'm in the sun, my hair is slightly dark brown and then there's also like just lighter brown streaks. She did it in a way where she didn't have to use bleach. I'm not exactly sure how the procedure went, but my hair was still super healthy afterwards, so I wouldn't consider that as anything crazy. Hair care for me always starts in the shower. I shower pretty much every single day, which I know is bad for your hair and it like strips your hair of all its natural oils, but honestly I can't go more than a day and a half maybe without showering, especially because I work out pretty frequently. But yeah, some days I will just take a body shower and then I'll just use dry shampoo, which is the first product that I will talk about because Aussie's dry shampoo is so bomb. Oh my God, it literally matches my shirt perfectly. This one's not intentional at all, no. Their dry shampoo is great because it's number one smells amazing, all their products do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this one is their clean textured dry shampoo. I feel like a lot of dry shampoos all smell really good, but the way that it leaves your hair is just not always the most pleasant. But with this one, it actually literally leaves my hair feeling like it's somewhat cleaner. A good example of what I would use this is if I shower the night before, I go work out in the morning and then I have something to do in the afternoon. So I'll just take a body shower and then spritz this in my hair. I'm gonna go like this and just like that. I mean, I could just put it in right now. I don't really care. I just put it in my roots and just kind of like brush through it like that. And I just like section it off into layers. So I'll put them here and just get it all in there. So yeah, this, oh. Oh, also I just learned this recently, but if you use dry shampoo before you curl your hair, it actually helps the curls stay a little bit better. I definitely have to do this because my hair is very sleek. And so when I curl it, it tends to just fall out right away. Having a little bit of texture and grit to my hair um, definitely helps my curls last longer. So yeah, I definitely recommend this guy, especially because you can find this at a drugstore and it's super, super affordable. Body showers are pretty rare for me. I tend to always wash my hair. So when I do, I've been really loving the, of course, Aussie shampoo and conditioner. And this one, especially because this is the Miracle Volume one. This combo has been the dynamic duo. By now, you know, my hair is just pinned straight. And so I get really self-conscious actually when my hair just lays super flat with like absolutely no volume. I don't know how this works, but when I wake up in the morning, my hair is actually lifted and it looks like it has some sort of light to it so the volume aspect of this is great and then also this scent is like a fruit bomb just blew up in my hair these are made with bamboo and australian plum when i shower it's actually therapeutic because the whole shower it's steamy and then the smell of this it's just this fruity aroma and it's, it's amazing. I like to designate at least one day out of my week to do like a full self-care shower routine. I like to do the whole shebang. So that means exfoliating skincare and like a face mask. Then I will shave. Literally, 
everything. And then also I like to do some sort of like deep conditioning treatment mask for my hair. So the three minute miracle deep conditioner. Oh my God, that's such a mouthful. Holy, I take really fast showers because number one, it saves water. And number two, I was just trained to do so living in the dorms. You just don't wanna chill in the communal shower for that long. So having products that are really easy and quick to use are great for me. Take some of this in my palm and I run it through mostly my ends. I don't focus it too much on my scalp. I let this sit for the amount of time that it takes me to soap the rest of my body, which is usually a few minutes. I'm pretty speedy with it. I'm literally just like with my loofah. This leaves my hair instantly feeling super smooth. Okay, I don't really brush my hair in general, but out of the shower when my hair is still wet, I'll run my fingers like this and it's just like no tangles at all, super sleek. And then when it dries, it just, just feels amazingly soft and I don't know how else to describe it. So yeah, these are my three staple hair products that I use in the shower. Once I'm out of the shower, I dry off and I throw my hair in a little turby twist. It wraps up in a nice cute little turban. Always towel and air dry my hair. I don't blow dry my hair because that's just more heat and more potential damage and also I'm too lazy for that. And so yes, those are all the products that I reach for on a day-to-day -day basis. Definitely have a lot of hair to maintain and so it's very crucial for all the products that I use to do the job. It smelled really good because that's important too. <laughs> but yeah, secrets out. These are the products that I use. I used to always see Aussie in stores, in ads, in commercials, all that. And now I get to work with them and I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Try some stuff out, switch up your routine a little. Why not? If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.